Hi everyone, I'm here today with a haul from That Smell Good Shop. This is an order that was placed, so it was, she was offering, and I think she's still offering, made to order items. I don't know if she offers them all the time or what, but anyways, made to order items, which are basically customs, and then she was offering already created, but made to order items, so they weren't necessarily your cust like custom blends by you, but they were, um, lens that you could order but they were made to order if that makes sense so I guess sort of like pre-order and then she was also having a limited release of some of her Freddy Krueger scents and then I also ordered just some other RTS items so this all shipped with the made to order items which means they came in 45 business days um, and I would say yes that was pretty accurate they shipped a little before that a little bit ahead of schedule but pretty much right around that 40 to 45 business day mark um, was when they shipped which is totally fine. I I love pre-orders because of that, or I love those longer turnaround times. I've got enough wax that I'm not worried about that. And so <clears throat> it kind of offers up a nice surprise when they get here because I sometimes forget that I placed the orders. And like with this one, I kind of forgot I placed the order and then I got the shipping notification and I was like, oh, what a surprise. I didn't even remember what was in the order. So this is quite a big order actually. Um, this is a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the samples and then I'll go to um, the made to order 12 packs and then we'll just do all the six packs because I can't remember if some of these six packs were made to order or not and so I don't want to try to separate that out. I'll just share them all together. So I actually have four customs that I'm going to share with you as well as two other made to order 12 packs that were not my customs but were just those extras that I was kind of talking about at the beginning. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and start with the samples. The first sample I got, so I got three. The first one is Strawberry Moon. And if this will focus, this is, ah. So it's a, a sweet strawberry <clears throat> and moon and woody. It's like a straight, sweet strawberry woody scent, basically. And this smells so dang good. This is like, so I saw that she was offering these moon scents. I think it's a, another limited release. And I was like, I don't know. We'll see. I think I need to go back and get this because this one is just so good. I can't, I can't not have it. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm glad I got to test that scent out. The next one is Toasty Mallow Zucchini. So this one, yeah, I did, I did smell all these yesterday. So this one is very heavy on zucchini, but she has a really nice, smooth, creamy zucchini. And then I just think that marshmallow in there is helping with um, smooth it out and cream it out a little bit. I don't like spicy, hot, um, bready zucchini scents. So this one being with the zucchini and the mallow is just really, really good. And I definitely, I like, I could order a 12 pack of this one and I would probably really enjoy it. And then the last sample that I got is a 7-Up Pound Cake, and their 7-Up Pound Cake is Pound Cake, pound cake Lemon Lime, and a Sweet, um, sorry, the baggie got stuck, and um, Sweet Icing. Yeah, this, I love 7-Up Pound Cake. This is really good. Mm -hmm. This is another one. So, like, all three of these samples, I almost want to go back and see if she's offering right now, because holy cow they're all so good and I love a 7-Up Pound Cake scent that's a favorite of mine so this one's really good too so all three of those samples were hits and I actually before I even melt them I think I'm going to go on and see if she's offering them because I could use all three of them in full sizes okay so we're going to get into the 12 packs and I think I'll start with the two that were not my customs and then I'll do the four that were my customs and then we'll move into the six packs so first we have Camp Crystal Lake, which is orange juice and deep blue sea. <clears throat> and this one smells really good. It almost smells like an orange Julius with just that little bit of sea scent, which is really, really yummy. Um, I love getting Camp Crystal Lake blends from everywhere because I love how like they all have the same name, but they have different scent notes. I think it's so fun to test them out and see which ones that I like best. And so this one's a really good one. Nice summery scent. Um, spring into summer. I think I might actually even hold on to this until next spring 
because that's just kind of it reminds me of like March April time when it's just starting to get warm and you're just starting to get antsy about the spring and the summer so this is really good the next one that was not my custom is called beach please and this is strawberries coconut and lemon candies and this one yeah this one is pretty heavy on the lemon but then at the same time it's like you can get the strawberries and the coconut so this is a really really nice midsummer very like a hot day kind of scent because it's very bright and and pretty and so I really like this one and I just love how I love her cubes I think that the cube sizes are so fun and cute so that's the other one that was not my custom but I got in a 12 pack okay so now we'll jump into my customs so the first custom I made was daily brew this is brown sugar pound cake fresh coffee and bear claws and I picked this um, name for this one because my daily cup of coffee like one of my favorite daily cups of coffee I have an espresso machine and I love having a double espresso with brown sugar it is like my favorite drink in the morning and this smells really good this is a pretty strong coffee smell so this what is it um, fresh coffee did I say coffee brulee earlier that's a different blend I don't know fresh coffee it's a pretty pretty uh, true to name scent very very strong but I also get the uh, bear claws and the sweetness from the brown sugar pound cake this is gonna be really really good when I melt it and I think this will be a good fall coffee melt because it is that kind of like heavy coffee bakery with that brown sugar pound cake and bear claws and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna really enjoy it during the fall time okay I always forget I should like put this over here there we go and next I have sweet pumpkin latte so this is bloodlines which is one of her coffee blends pumpkin pecan latte and sugar cookie and this one I keep going back and forth like is this a fall scent for me or is this just like a <clears throat> very nice all year round coffee scent I think I'm gonna hold on to this and I think I'm gonna use it in the winter. I think I'm gonna use it as a winter coffee scent because the pumpkin pecan waffles is not too strong in here. Um, it's actually very mellow with that sugar cookie and then the, the bloodlines, which I, can't, I don't know what is in her bloodlines blend, but it's really good. And I just feel, yikes, sorry about that. <laughs> I just feel like it's gonna be a really good winter blend and I'm really gonna like that one. So that's a nice one. Okay, the next one I have is another coffee scent. Um, as you can see, when I made this order, I was very into the coffees. So this is, cof um, it's called Sunday Snuggles. This is coffee brulee, blueberry, and toasty mallow. This is pretty heavy on the blueberry, but not in a bad way. Um, it's kind of a nice change from those other two that I have that are pretty coffee heavy. It's nice that this is heavy on the blueberry yeah and then the toasty mallow makes it creamy and then you get a hint of that coffee i think this would be a really nice coffee um spring coffee blend so like in april march april time when the weather's starting to get nice and you kind of get that feeling of summer and um i really like this i named it sunday snuggles because i don't know they're just scents to me that make me feel happy and that's how i want to feel on a sunday morning so that was that one <clears throat> and then this last one I did not name I just kind of did so this is toasty mallow zucchini strawberry sugar waffle cone and I was um, when I made these customs I do remember I was really experimenting with zucchini scents and I will say she has one of my favorite zucchini scents because like I mentioned with the sample it's not too spicy or hot it's not too bready it's just a nice smooth scent and I think it helps when it's blended with things like toasty mallow uh, or sorry yeah toasty mallow and like the strawberry sugar and the waffle cone I think that's a good blend because everything just balances each other out this is a really nice one and I can definitely see myself um, reordering this in another custom because it just is very nice and light but in a good way a good kind of light way light and so I really like that one. Okay, so next we're gonna get into all the six packs and I've got a ton. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna get started with the Kruger ones. Um, so this one is Kruger Cafe 
And this is Freddy Krueger. Her Freddy Krueger is coffee, butterscotch, and vanilla cream. And then it is Black Mirror. I do not know what Black Mirror is. I think, I want to say it's another coffee scent, but I could be wrong. Nonetheless, this smells really good. And it does smell, it does smell like it might be two, two different coffee scents. I should have looked up what her Black Mirror was before I did this video, but I didn't. So um, this is Kruger Cafe. Really good, nice, smooth coffee scent. I would say exactly what the name implies. It's That is what it is. It's a nice cafe coffee. Um, there might even be a pastry in there of some sort. Maybe, maybe like a Cupcakes at Tiffany's in that Black Mirror. There's just like a smooth, sweet scent. So really good. And then let's see what else I have. I know I've got a couple of the Kruger ones, I believe. So let me try and... Let me try and find those ones, and then that way, I don't think, I guess I didn't order too many of them. Um, okay, so the next one is um, A Nightmare on Elm Street, which is Freddy Krueger and shortbread cookies. So again, that Freddy Krueger is coffee, butterscotch, vanilla cream, and shortbread cookies. And then this is, yeah, this is a really good one. I so sometimes shortbread cookies can lean buttery to me and I don't love buttery wax but this one's pretty smooth and pretty creamy I think um the Freddy Krueger is really coming out the most because it is such a strong butterscotch coffee scent and so I think that's helping with that short that buttery note and so it's just a nice creamy almost like a nice creamy Freddy Krueger blend. Freddy Krueger is like what it is. Like if you had Freddy Krueger and just a little bit of creaminess to it is what this reminds me of. So that one's really yummy. And then I literally just had these. Where did I put them? Here it is. Okay. This is one, two, Freddy's coming for you. And this is Freddy Krueger blueberry and zucchini bread. And I had this one in a sample in a previous order. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out if I liked it or not. Um, but I really do and again, it's kind of like my custom with the blueberry. It's really really good The blueberry pops out really nicely and then you just have that light smell of the zucchini bread and um, The uh, Freddy Krueger and I love these colors. I like how she does different colors for everything. I think these are so fun um, Very similar to the first two So these were the first two So a lot of fun. I like those colors and then the last Freddy Krueger blend that I got is Freddy's Nightmare. And this is a Freddy Krueger and Captain Spaulding, which I don't know what that is. So um, I just kind of went with it. This is a very, I think there's lavender in here. And I think there might be a woody note, like a musky note. This is really, really good. I'm going to put this one in my bedroom because this is definitely leaning bedroom to me, even with the Freddy Krueger in there. Um, I, I like it a lot though and it's going to be perfect for in the bedroom especially for like during a day when I'm home but I'm not spending a lot of time in there and so I just like want that nice scent every time I walk in so that one's really good okay and then next we're going to jump into the, just the variety of other things that I got so some of them I don't have all the scent notes for and I do apologize for that but that's just I'm not always very good at going and finding them before I film so this one is Lattes by the Fire, and this is Coffee, Caramel, and Fireplace, and I actually already had this one, and I did not mean to order it again, but I do really like it. It is a, definitely a fall scent with that fireplace in there. Um, definitely not something I'm going to be melting this summer. I think my other six-pack that I have, I stuck in my bedroom just to use it as a bedroom scent in the winter, and that's what I'm going to do with this one too. Really good, but very, very um, cold weather like so definitely we'll hold on to that one until then next i have blackberry thumbprint this is baked cookies and blackberry jam and i am finding that i love anything with blackberry in it it can be fresh blackberry or a blackberry jam and i love it so this is very blackberry heavy um but again with something like this you're not really going to pull out that baked cookie note on cold it'll be more, it'll come out on warm. So that one's delicious, I love that. Next, I have Toasty Mallow Zucchini Fruit Loops and Birthday Cake, and this was a customer blend. This one's really good. I, Like I said, through this order, I've really discovered that I like her zucchini. I think she has my favorite zucchini scent. Um, because again, in this one, it's like, 
you get the zucchini, but you also get the Fruit Loops and the birthday cake and the toasty, like you get it all and that zucchini is just nice and balanced in there. It's not taking over like it can in some blends. And so I really am liking her zucchini blends. I think I'm gonna hop on after this and see if I can pick up just a few six packs of some different zucchini scents because I, zucchini is one of those that can either really turn me off from that wax or I really like it and there really isn't an in-between for me and a lot of the times when I have blends with zucchini bread in it I have to turn them off I can't keep them on the whole time because they're too overpowering for me and I don't think I haven't melted any of her zucchini but just smelling it on cold I don't think it's gonna do that to me so I'm really excited the next one is caramel macchiato this is caramel vanilla and coffee and uh, this is just everything that I love and yep Mm -hmm. smells like a caramel macchiato. I'm currently drinking a caramel um, frappe from McDonald's and so <laughs> kind of reminds me of my drink to be honest but this is really good. The only thing that could make this better is putting um, a note of vanilla ice cream in it. That would be delicious. So yeah this is really good. Mm, definitely will be melting this sooner rather than later I think. A nice coffee scent for summer. Next we have Never Sleep Again. This is, oh, this is another Freddy Krueger blend. Sorry, this is Freddy Krueger Frosted Pumpkin and Toasty Mallow. Whoops, didn't, re didn't, didn't catch this one when I did the rest. So this one, ooh, this one, why don't I remember smelling this yesterday? This one's really good. Oh my gosh, that pumpkin comes out so nicely. You know what I'm, I'm thinking is she does a really nice job with spicy scents. She, she knows how to balance them out because I'm not finding, that is just a great pumpkin scent. Oh my goodness. And I know it's frosted pumpkin, so it's already gonna be a little bit mellowed, but ooh, that's really good. I don't remember smelling that one yesterday when I got my package. I really like that. So that's Never Sleep Again. I could have that in a 12 pack. Okay, that one was really good. Next, I have Blue Ribbon Waffles, and this is Blue Ribbon Cookies and Pumpkin Waffles. Now let's see if this pumpkin comes out like that one yes mm -hmm. so I can say safely now if you are someone who doesn't tend to like spicy scents like zucchini bread pumpkin cinnamon this that smell good shop might be you might want to give it a shot in my first two orders with her I didn't place a lot of bakery scents I did a lot of fresh um, lavender scents and as and um, fruity scents and so this is my first experience of really smelling these bakery scents and she does a really nice job with them I would highly recommend if you're on the fence with some different bakery notes because I'm not typically I like fruity bakery but I don't like heavy bakery and I'm, I'm really liking a lot of these so that's really nice okay next I have stay on that theme of yummy bakery I have zucchini pastries this is sweet ice pastries and zucchini bread it's brown sorry i haven't been showing you all the colors zucchini bread yes mm -hmm. this is really good that wasn't what i had earlier in my sample was it no my sample was toasty mallow zucchini yeah this is really good too so i am excited to burn this uh, melt this one I am gonna hold on to it till fall because it does have that fall, that fall essence to it, but this is really yummy. Ooh, I like that. That one would be good to blend with another oil or another fragrance, I'll have to see. Okay, this is a customer blend, Bikini Bottom and Cotton Candy. I don't know what Bikini Bottom is. So this is, um, it kind of has a, <clears throat> I smell the cotton candy. Is there pineapple in there? That might be what's doing it to me. It has like, <laughs> this is gonna sound really bad. It kind of smells like a crayon. And I'm not saying it smells like straight wax, like, like there's no scent to it. I'm saying like, I smell something. I smell the cotton candy and then I think I get a hint of pineapple and then I get like a Crayola crayon <laughs> scent. I don't know, I'll have to melt that one and see how it is. I'm gonna let it, I'll let it cure for a couple weeks and then I'll try it in my bathroom. And see what happens um, I don't even think I looked up the scent notes for bikini bottom when I ordered it I just liked the name bikini bottom and cotton candy so that's that's what happened there so we'll see how that does on warm next I have um, jinx this is zucchini ba the zucchini pastries and sugar cookie 
and again with the zucchini pastries. I must have been on a roll that day and just really liked these blends, even though I didn't know if I liked her zucchini. And yeah, again, it's very, very pretty. This is the best zucchini I've ever, yeah, I've ever encountered. I will be, she will be my go-to for zucchini at this point, from this point forward, because this is really good. Okay, so that's delicious. And then the last one I have is gum, um, Gunnery Sergeant Bobby Draper. And I don't know if that means something, but it's sweet blackberries and mango sorbet. This is everything to me. Since placing this order, and I think it was actually a That Smell Good shop one that was another mango sorbet with strawberry that I found that I fell in love with mango sorbet. And ever since then, it doesn't matter what vendor, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. If it has mango sorbet in it, I absolutely love it. And mango sorbet and blackberries just go, this is delicious. I'm going to be looking for this one again too. So on that note, <laughs> that is the end of my um, huge That Smell Good Shop haul. I love everything that I got. Really, really happy with this vendor. This is my third order. My first two are much smaller. And like I said, they I didn't really get any bakery or coffee in those two orders. So this was a very bakery coffee heavy order. And I'm very happy with it. Um, she does a great job on her bakery and then her fresh stuff or her fruity stuff is really good too um I, in my experience with the fresh sleepy time lavender blends i'm finding that i have to use a little bit more wax to get a good throw but i think it's because they're lighter smells i don't think it has anything to do with the vendor i just think them being lighter scents takes a little more wax to throw. Whereas when I did my last um, mango blend from her, I melted them in my open concept and I was able to just put one little cube in each of my warmers and it did amazing. And so there was, I think it's just that these are stronger scents and I know what's um, vanilla, marshmallow, cotton candy, those lighter, those scents can take longer to cure and so that might be it too. Um, so very, very satisfied with this vendor and would highly recommend ordering from her, especially if you're like me and you're on the fence about your zucchini, pumpkin, cinnamon, spicy type blends. I think she does a great job with them. So like I said, I'm going to be jumping on after this and looking up for these three scents that I got in my samples. I'm really hoping she has them. I know she has the moon scents on there right now. And this is like, out of the three, I think the Strawberry Moon is my favorite. It's so good. So I'm going to be going and checking that out. Um, so you may be seeing another Smell Good Shop order in the near future. However, I do have some more hauls that I need to film. I've been holding on to some things as I've been getting them and just filming them and releasing them like sporadically. Um, so I know I've got, like just looking behind me, I've got an L3 order. I've got a... Oh, my southbound order. So I had some pre-orders actually start to roll in, which is where all of this is coming from. So this was like the made to order. Then I've got a southbound pre-order back there. I've got an L3 RTS that took a little bit longer to ship um, because I think I placed it before a three day weekend. And then I've got a, my Scentsy Club order, which I need to get filmed so I can get that stuff put away. <coughs> And there's one more back there. I can't remember what it is. So, um, oh, it's Harper James. That's a new to me vendor. So I've got those coming up, plus my weekly melting baskets and another empties video probably in the next week or two. So look out for those ones. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye.